Are you planning to bring your child to Australia and you don't know how to go about with enrolling them for school or you're looking for a school for your child? So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys how you can enroll your child from overseas to any of Australian schools. Welcome back once again to my channel. My name is Uche. Here I share tips on how you can migrate to Australia, how you can settle in in Australia, and general things about life and how you can strive in Australia. If this is the kind of content you're looking for, kindly subscribe to the channel, put on the notification bell so anytime I post any new video, you'll be the first to be notified. So let us dive into the details of today's video. It is easy for you to bring your child along with whatever visa you're coming with. Even if you're a student, you can actually come in with your family as long as you can show proof of fund that you can take care of yourself and your family as a student. Then as a skilled worker, you can also come in with your family as well. The system of education in Australia is different from other countries. Like here in Australia, we have four terms. And I know like in UK, Canada, Nigeria, and some other African countries or other countries as well, they have three terms. But in Australia, we operate four terms. Right now, the children are in their final term in school. So after this term, which they are going to close early December, they will have the long term break that every other country might have had in July, August. So this is the time Australia will have that long break starting from December, first week in December, and they will resume the first term that other country have already started. New class in Australia starts January next year. It doesn't matter the state you're going to, it is the same thing. Now that you have understood how the terms work in Australia, we will talk about the age grading in Australia. So the rightful age to start full primary school in Australia is six years. So from zero to two years, three years, you would be in childcare. Kindergarten in Australia is from four years. So after four years, then you are qualified to go to prep, which is from five years. So it's after your prep school, you are entitled to start your primary school in Australia. You have to be six years old for you to start primary one, which we call grade one. So it doesn't matter whether you are so intelligent, you are getting all the A's in your class in prep, you must wait for your age group. We're sharing some clip on how the age system work here and which class is for which age, okay? So from six years old to 11 years old, you will be in primary school in Australia. So like I said, it doesn't matter if your child is very intelligent, they don't jump class here. And some people will be wondering, so if my child is not of age to start school in Australia, what will I do? So for you, you have two options, depending on the visa you're coming with. If you're coming with a visa that gives you rights for childcare subsidy, then you'll be enjoying up to 36 hours childcare subsidy from the government. For those of you that doesn't have any subsidy or doesn't have any entitlement, what else you can do is to look out whichever state you're coming from, look out for um, family daycares there or child minders there and talk with them, know which one that suits you and your family. So there's a regulation and law and they call them national quality framework. They are in charge of anything that has to do with childcare, family daycare and the like. So you can check them out. I am also going to be leaving the education system uh, website in my description box so you guys can check it out and read about Australian education system, okay? First thing I want to talk about when you're planning to enroll your child in a school here in Australia, schools are zoned according to catchment areas what does this mean it means that if you're living in suburb a your child has to go to school close to that suburb where you're living except you're enrolling your child in a private school is it that your child is going to a public school which is called a government school or they are going to a non-government school which is like private school christian school and the like depending on which one you want your child to enroll with if it, your child is going to go to a government school it must be a school in that catchment area. You cannot go to another suburb and register your child when you're living in this particular suburb. And the government will not be the one to come and tell you to enroll your child like how they do in some other country. You have to be the one to go to that school that is close to your 
suburb to make inquiries of what you need to enroll your child with. I'm going to be dropping a link in my description box as well and I'll put it somewhere here for you guys to see. It's called thegoodschools.com.au. In that page, you can search any school in Australia, whether government school or private school. You can check out their performance, you can check out their grading, you can check out the uh, school fees, anything you want to know about that school you can see in this website that i'm talking about so guys if you're planning to look for school for your child and you're confused on which one to go for check out this goodschools.com.au i know you guys will be asking whether you are entitled to pay for school fees if your child is here with you in australia i would say if you're a permanent resident or a citizen and your child is going to any government school you will not pay any school fees reform and books and you enroll your child and if you're coming i'm using queensland because i base in queensland if you're coming to queensland and you're coming with like 189 190 which is permanent residence, you would not pay school fees if you're enrolling your child to a government school. If you're coming with 491-482, which is the employer-sponsored visa, you would not pay school fees for any of your child from primary school to secondary school, as long as it's also a government school. I am not so sure about um, international students coming with their child. So if you're an international student, check out the school with the link that I have sent here so you will know if you're entitled to pay or not. I also know that there are some uh, states that will charge you a levy that is not so expensive for you to enroll your child. We are in Australia, but our education system is different according to various states. So I am using Queensland to share this experience with you guys. So whatever state you're coming to, please check out if you're going to pay school fees for your child in any of the visas you're coming with a permanent residency visa and if you're also in australia and you're living in other states that is not queensland can you leave a comment in the comment section so other people would know if as a temporal visa holder are you charged school fees for your child when you arrived as an international student or as a skilled migrant would like to know i would like to know in the comment section so now that you have known that in queensland whatever visa you're coming with some would ask you for school fees while some you it will be free in queensland we'll talk about the documents you need to pack with you when you come to australia to enroll your child and what is the next thing you would do so upon arriving in australia I to believe that you would have made arrangements by booking a meeting or booking an appointment with the school close to where you're living telling them that oh you're a new migrant you just came into australia and you want to enroll your children so you have an appointment you don't just walk into the school and say you want to enroll your child sometimes if they are free they will respond to you if they are not free they would book the appointment there so it's good for you to make an appointment before time and you need to also take your children with you on the appointment day so what are the documents you need to go with you need to go with your international passport you need to go with their birth certificate you also need to go with their visa so that visa that they granted you as the parent you need to go with your child visa and the parents visa as well to show that you guys have the right to live work and study in australia you also need all the immunization history of your child whether it's in a booklet or it's in a form you need to bring these four things you really don't need the result whether they made all the a's in the country you're coming from you don't need their past result to enroll your child so once you go for the appointment you want to hear the child speak to know if the child can speak very well and if the child can understand english because australia is an english speaking country so if the child cannot speak english very well especially coming from a country that is not english speaking they would get the child extra care that will help the child to um, get along very well with english language then they would also ask the parents some questions and 
medical histories and all that then they will enroll the child once the uniform shop is open you purchase your child's uniform and you also uh, get books you can get books from any shops of your choice the school will give you the list of books that they need for your child and the next day your child will start school i have done a video about school system in australia which i will be leaving anywhere here guys go check it out so you can know more about school system in australia i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do don't forget to give me a thumbs up share this video to your friends and family you never know who you're helping with this information and i will see you guys in my next video